I hope we provided you with some good stories to tell when you're back in King's Landing. With something to think about while you're drinking your wine down there. Enjoying your brothels. Half the boys you've seen training will die north of the wall. Might be a wildling's axe that gets them. Might be sickness. Might just be the cold. They die in pain. And they do it. So plump little laws like you can enjoy their summer afternoons in peace and comfort. Do you think I'm plump? Listen, Benjamin, may I call you Benjamin? Call me what you like. I'm not sure what I've done to offend you. I have great admiration for the Night's Watch. I have great admiration for you as First Ranger. <laughs> you know, my brother once told me that nothing someone says before the word but really counts. But I don't believe that giants and ghouls and white walkers are lurking beyond the wall. I believe that the only difference between us and the wildlings is that when that wall went up, our ancestors happened to live on the right side of it. You're right. The wildlings are no different from us. A little rougher, maybe. But they're made of meat and bone. I know how to track them and I know how to kill them. It's not the wildlings giving me sleepless nights. You've never been north of the wall. So don't tell me what's out there. You going below? Keep well, keep warm. Enjoy the capital, brother. Oh, I always do. I think he's starting to like me. <laughs> Going below. Aye. Into the tunnel and out the other side. He'll be north of the wall for a month or two. So, you're heading down to King's Landing too? Aye. Day after tomorrow. I get about half of my recruits from their dungeons. Let's share the road. I could use some decent company. I, uh... I travel a bit on the grubby side, my lord. Not this time. We'll be staying at the finest castles and inns. No one turns away a Lannister. <laughs>